Sai Ram children. So today we are back again with our English new voices and we are going to do the revision of a chapter 4. Do you all remember what chapter 4 was? Yes, chapter 4 was a poem Just Imagine. Yes. Before we begin children, I want you all to keep your English classwork pencil and eraser with you. You will not open the book. Just get your English classwork, pencil, eraser and keep it near you. When I ask you to write, you will be writing it in your English classwork. Yes, please note, not in your rough book, but in your English classwork. Okay, so shall we begin? So we are going to do the revision of chapter number 4, Just Imagine. Children, do you all remember what the poem was about? Yes, it was about imagination. How children imagine different things, right? Even you all imagine, even I imagine how nice it would be if I had wings and I could fly or how nice it would be if I could swim like a fish, right? The same way the poetess of this poem is asking us to imagine certain things. Okay, so let's see what she is asking us to do. The poetess tells us that just imagine where, how it would be if crocodiles brush their teeth with innumerable toothbrushes or elephants sneeze in their uncountable handkerchief. Yes, she is saying just imagine how it would be if crocodiles start brushing their teeth. How many brushes they'll need? Or if elephants start, start using handkerchiefs while they sneeze, how many handkerchiefs will the elephant have to wash? In the same way, she's also asking us to imagine how it would be if giraffes start wearing ties around their long necks and if centipedes were to wear shoes with their shoelaces, then how it would be if they all got entangled, right? So she's, she wishes to see children soaring high up in the sky. She's asking children how it would be if you all had wings and you all could soar high up in the sky and fly from here to there. Yes, she's saying it would be so much fun to see all of these through the eyes of a child. Yes. So let us see the poem once. I hope you all have learnt. Yes, you all practice reciting the poem. Okay, now we shall recite this poem. You are going to recite it along with me. Okay. If crocodiles had to brush their teeth the way I do every morning and night, just imagine the number of toothbrushes they, had, they would need to keep all those rows of teeth sparkling white. If elephants had to use handkerchiefs, every time they sneezed or had a bad cold, just imagine how many hankies they would have to wash in iron and fold. If giraffes had to wear ties around their necks, like I do to school every day. Just imagine how long those ties would be and how they would dangle, flutter and sway. If centipedes had to wear boots with laces, all fastened and tied up tight, just imagine what a tangle of legs there would be if just one of those laces wasn't done upright. If children like me had wings like birds with which we could fly and soar up high, just imagine how many children there would be zooming about in the sky. Yes? Do you all remember this poem? Are you all practicing reciting this poem? Very good. Now children, let us see the rhyming words that come in the poem. And I want you all to write this in your classwork. Yes? So open your classwork. Open a new page. Write today's date. 
write the chapter number chapter number 4 and the title of the poem just imagine okay you can write this chapter 4 just imagine on the top write today's date chapter 4 just imagine okay in the next line you're going to write the rhyming words for so the next line write write the rhyming words for yes so the rhyming words that we saw in the lesson were night white night white n i g h t night next to it write w h i t e white okay the second one c o l d cold c o l d cold the rhyming word for that is f o l d fold f o l d fold done the next one d a y day d a y day the rhyming word for day is s w a y sway s w a y sway next one t i g h t tight t i g h t tight and the rhyming word for tight is r i g h t right r i g h t right the next one h i g h high h i g h high and the rhyming word for that is s k y sky s k y sky Yes, completed children. Have you all written this? Yes, all the five rhyming words done. Let's move to the next question. Write the meaning and the opposites for the given words. Yes, I give you a word. We are going to write the meaning for that word, and then we will write the opposite also of that word. Okay, now. The first one is sparkling. Sparkling, S P A R K L I N G, sparkling. S P A R K L I N G, sparkling. So, what does sparkling mean? Shining, right? So, the meaning for sparkling is. S H I N I N G shining. S H I N I N G shining. Sparkling means shining. Now we have to write the opposite for that, right? So put a cross after this. Yes. And what is the opposite now? D U L L dull. shining so the opposite is dull d u l l dull what is the sign that symbol we use for opposite it's a cross right that's why i put a cross there so sparkling meaning is shining and the opposite is dull have you written it let's go to the next one dangle d a n g l e dangle d a n g l e dangle so the meaning of dangle is swing s w i n g swing s w i n g swing yes the meaning of dangle is swing now what is the opposite for that fix f i x fix f i x fix so dangle 
the meaning is swing moving from one place to another and the opposite is fix that mean it is fixed in one place it's not moving right so dangle meaning is swing and the opposite of dangle is fix okay children the next one tight t i g h t tight T I G H T tight. So, what's the meaning of tight? T I G H T tight. What is the meaning? Stiff. S T I F F stiff. S T I F F stiff. And the opposite of tight is yes. L O O S E loose correct L O O S E loose so tight meaning is stiff and opposite is loose yes done children shall we go to the next one high H I G H high H I G H high the meaning of high is elevated. E L E V A T E D elevated. E L E V A T E D elevated. High elevated. Of that? Yes. Low. Very good. High. Low. Right. So, H, I, G, H, high, meaning is elevated, E, L, E, V, A, T, E, D, elevated, and the opposite is L, O, W, low, L, O, W, low. Okay, now we'll move to the next. Answer these questions with reference to context. Yes. There are some lines or stanzas given from the poem. Questions will be asked to you based on this and we have to write the answer. Right? Now see these lines. Just imagine how many hankies they would have to wash and iron and fold. Yes? Just imagine how many hankies they would have to wash and iron and fold. Write down children, you have to write this in your notebook. After every question, you have to leave a line and write the next question. So write the main question, answer these questions with reference to the context. Answer these questions with reference to the context. And write these lines below that. Just imagine how many hankies they would have to wash and iron and fold. Yes, done. Let's go to the questions. Who would have to wash and iron the many hankies? The first question is, who would have to wash and iron the many hankies? Correct. The elephant would have to wash and iron the many hankies. Right? We saw that in the poem. Right? The elephant would have to wash and iron the many hankies. Have you written it children? Yes. The question was who would have to wash and iron the many hankies? Answer is the elephant would have to wash and iron the many hankies. Done. Now let us see your next stanza. Just imagine what a tangle of legs there would be if just one of those laces wasn't done upright. Just imagine what a tangle of legs there would be if just one of those laces wasn't done up right. So, let's see what questions are there. Whose legs would be in a tangle? 
Yes, whose legs would be in a tangle? Do you remember? Yes, the answer was the centipede's legs would be in a tangle. The centipede's legs would be in a tangle. Yes, have you all written this? Whose legs would be in a tangle? The centipede's legs would be in a tangle. Done? The next question. What laces are being talked about? What laces are being talked about? The laces of centipede's shoes are being talked about. The laces of centipede's shoes are being talked about. Yes? What laces are being talked about? What are we talking about? We are talking about the laces of centipede's shoes. So the laces of centipede's shoes are being talked about. Return children. Yes. Completed. Can we move to the next question? Okay. The third question is, why would there be a tangle of legs? Why would there be a tangle of legs? Answer this, if the shoelaces are not tied well, then there would be a tangle of laces and legs. Right? If the shoelaces are not tied well, then there would be a tangle of laces and legs. So write this down children. You all remember a centipede has many legs, around 100 legs. In 100 legs, the centipede is going to wear shoes and even if one shoelace is not tied properly, then what will happen? Everything will get entangled, right? So that is the question. Why would there be a tangle of legs? If the shoelaces are not tied well, then there would be a tangle of laces and legs. Okay, have you all completed? Yes? Okay, now move, let's move to the next question. Children, I hope you all are leaving a line after every question. Okay, now write down. Answer these questions. Answer these questions. The first question is, why would crocodiles need lot of toothbrushes? Why would crocodiles need a lot of toothbrushes? Write down the question. Yes? The answer to this is crocodiles would need a lot of toothbrushes to sparkle the many teeth that they have. Yes, you have seen a crocodile's mouth, how many teeth they have. Right, so to sparkle them, they will need a lot of toothbrushes, right? So why would crocodiles need a lot of toothbrushes? Crocodiles would need a lot of toothbrushes to sparkle the many teeth that they have. Yes? Finish writing. Crocodiles would need a lot of toothbrushes to sparkle the many teeth that they have. Let's go to the next question. What would elephants have to do if they were to use handkerchiefs for their colds? What would elephants have to do if they were to use handkerchiefs for their colds? Write down children, write down the question. What, what would the elephant have to do if they were to use handkerchiefs for their cold? Yes, if they use it, then they will have to wash it, iron it and fold it, right? So the answer is, the elephants will have to wash, iron and fold too many hankies. 
Yes, the elephant is such a huge animal, and it's got such a long nose. So if the elephant sneezes or uses handkerchiefs when it has got cold, it will require many handkerchiefs, right? And it will have to wash many handkerchiefs, right? So the answer is the elephants will have to wash, iron, and fold too many handkerchiefs. Again. The elephants will have to wash, iron, and fold too many handkerchiefs. Yes, completed, children. Shall we move to the next one? Yes. Leave a line after this and write the next question. Question number three: If giraffes were to wear ties, what would they be like, and what would happen to them? If giraffes were to wear ties, what would they be like, and what would happen to them? Answer is: If giraffes were to wear ties, they would be like children going to school. Their long ties will dangle, flutter, and sway. Yes. So, if giraffes were to wear ties. They would be like children going to school. They look like children going to school, and their long ties will dangle. Dangle means swing, flutter, and sway. Yes. Write down the answer. If giraffes were to wear ties, they would be like children going to school. Their long ties will dangle. Flutter and sway. Yes, have you all done, children? I hope you remember that you are supposed to touch both the lines and write. Yes, and see where teacher has put comma, where she has to put full stop. Yes, you have to notice everything. First letter is always capital. See where you have to put a comma, where you have to put a full stop. The end of a sentence, you'll have to put a full stop there. Yes, and write neatly. Touch both the lines and write. And after every question, leave a line. Done. Have you all completed this? Shall we move to the next question? How would the children be able to fly? How would the children be able to fly? Yes, children would be able to fly up high in the sky if they had wings like the birds. Children would be able to fly up high in the sky if they had wings like birds. Yes, children. Did you all write? Write question number four. How would the children be able to fly? Question mark. Yes, it's a question, so you have to put a question mark at the end. Remember everything. Put all the punctuation mark correctly. How would the children be able to fly? Answer is children. Would be able to fly up high in the sky if they had wings like birds. Yes. Done. Have you all completed this? Very good. So we'll stop for today. Yes, we'll stop here for today. In the next class, we'll continue with the revision of our other chapters. Okay. Done. Till then. Revise this, learn this, learn the poem, and learn the question answers. Okay, children. Bye. Sai Ram.